So I'd like to give you a little bit of feedback from the second class test. So this was a slightly harder test, I think you'll agree, compared to class test one. And the average has come down from 74% to 70%, but that's still slightly better than it was last year. So I think um, that's quite good. We have a slight improvement from the average last year. I'm slightly concerned about the time it's taken you. So for, for a 60 minute um, test to have taken 50 minutes on average um, is slightly worrying. Now, looking at the distribution, it's not a bad distribution there, but I'm not too happy about this section here. So quite a few marks under 50. And most of these students didn't take the practice test. Almost all the students who scored less than 50 didn't take the practice test. So with the exception of maybe two or three students, these students didn't take the practice test. And as I said, the, the practice test is your secret weapon. That's how to get marks up here in the 70s and 80s. So the practice tests, they're available from the Tuesday of the week before the test so you have plenty of time to finish the mark the uh, problem sheets and then go through the practice test and make sure you're ready for the style of questions in the exam but nevertheless I, I i'm i'm happy with that and if your mark is up here above 65 you should be pleased with yourself if you're still if you're in this section here under 65 then think what can you do to raise your mark, okay? One thing you can do is take the practice test. Look through the problem sheets, ask questions earlier so that you can avoid the common mistakes, okay? You don't need to get 100% or even 90%, but you need to be able to comfortably pass. And if you're getting marks in the 40s, 50s, 60s, that's not a comfortable pass. So be in the best possible situation um, as you approach the, uh, the final exam, try to avoid being in this tail here.